now a movie in our country based on your life. Is that so? Yeah. What's the name of that? Uh, it's called Song Without End. It covers your entire brilliant career. And you certainly did have a brilliant career. Yes, except for that very, very bad year, 1887. Well, what happened in 1887? I died. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear That's that. That's life. <laughs> but you certainly did have a brilliant life. All, all of those triumphs. <laughs> As the flower of the musical oh, world, oh, Mr. Oh. Liz, with all of that adulation, I'm amazed that your success hasn't gone to your head. Well, I'll tell you... <laughs> Excuse me just a second. I'm a chain sniffer. <laughs> Mr. Warren, I have, in my youth, been very conceited. As a matter of fact, I was always very conceited. That has all changed now. Now I'm perfect. <laughs> yes, and it's surprising how you still manage to retain your modesty, sir. <coughs> you, uh, you played for royalty many times, did you not, Mr. List? Yes, I did. But, uh, oh, kings, queens, Jack, <laughs> count, countesses, and so forth. They seem to, well, they don't understand my music. But the food is good. <laughs> well, if they don't understand your music, why do you play for Royal? Because I get five extra points when I take a civil service examination. <laughs> <laughs> what is your unbiased opinion, sir, about your contemporary composers? Have you, for instance, heard Johann Strauss' Tales of the Vienna Woods? Oh, but I heard a cute one about a musician's daughter. Uh, <laughs> something like that. Uh, what do you think of Brahms? Who? Johannes Brahms. Oh, Joe Brahms? The fellow from, uh, from Hamburg? <laughs> he writes for babies. <laughs> what do you expect from a hamburger? <laughs> Chopin? Well, he used to be a good friend of mine, but he got in with a bad crowd. <laughs> he was running around with this woman. What was her name? Uh, uh, what was her name? George? <laughs> Are you trying to be funny, maybe? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but her name was George. <coughs> You're sick! <laughs> George. Sand. George Sand. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, I apologize, of course. The one who smoked my cigar. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, the only thing he wrote that ever came in handy was the Minute Wars. Because I happen to use it every morning. Before breakfast, I push my piano out in the kitchen. And then I play the Minute Wars three times, and my eggs are done. <laughs> well, I, uh... I think, sir, that perhaps you're losing interest in this turn in the conversation. Perhaps we'd better go back to talking about you. Now you're wising up. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. List, I know that our audience would never forgive me if I didn't ask you to play something before we leave you. Would you do us that honor? Well, I thought you would never ask. <laughs> I would be delighted, Mr. Wallace. You probably know where my Hungarian Rhapsodies, number one, number three, four, five, six. Uh, well, I just wrote the second one. Number two. <laughs> a little behind with that one, but nevertheless, I should play that for you, maybe. Will you play us a little of it? No. Nope. I'll play it all. <laughs> Mr. Wallace, isn't this a gorgeous hand? <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. There's another one like it. <laughs> Through his fingers has the most beautiful music walked in the world. Walked. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cannot play this one alone. It was written for four hands, because that way we could through with it a little faster. <laughs> but my prize pupil, Mr. Leonid Hambro, is waiting in the waiting room. So maybe I should call him in and he will help me out. I am sure he will be delighted. Mr. Hambro, would you please come in? 
my bright pupil, Mr. Hamlet. <laughs> the second, the lousy one, you know. <laughs> Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, everything comes to an end, and this is it. This is what I had to offer. Laugh and smile, some giggles, some sneezes, some snoozes, some coughs, some hiccups. <laughs> the only thing I can't do is can't give you your money back. <laughs> However, Henry Gibson once said, the money may be the husk of things, but not the kernel. It brings food, but not appetite. Acquaintances, but not friends. Servants, but not faithful. Days of joy, but not peace and happiness. So I wish to thank the Internal Revenue Department for a lot of peace and happiness. <laughs> I'd like to say something gracious and warm now. Good gracious, this is warm in here. <laughs> we don't know yet where we're going to meet again. With everything going on in space, maybe we will see each other soon in my balloon on the way to the moon. <laughs> So until then, not goodbye, but auf Wiedersehen.